And so, take the battery out. Begin then. The battery sits on this tray. A couple of bolts there and there. Undo that. Battery comes out. Those two bolts hold it on. You can just remove that. Then this tray sits in there. There's a bolt there. Bolt there. And then you just literally click these tabs in and you can lift up the module. And there's a final bolt there, and then this tray comes out. This can just be strapped out of the way, and then you've got access to the um, top of the gearbox. And the um, Top of the gearbox, they all appear to be um, external 18s, so these, but it's quite tight right down at the back. There, if you cannot get one of these in without it fouling something, you can actually just use a normal 12 point. This is just a Halford's 12 point ratchet spanner, and E18 actually. I wouldn't want to put loads of torque on it, but these bolts aren't too bad because they're not rusted in. But a 14 fits perfectly. 14, 12 point. So to get these out, just use the flex head ratchet spanner that are far down the side that you can't actually get a ratchet to very easy. Just taking off the gearbox mount. It's sat on a uh, trolley jack at the minute. Underneath, just supported. And then that's come out there. So they just those bolts uh, straight through there. And then you can take them out. They're all E14. Then you can just use one of these uh, little forks. You can just pop the um, gear linkages off both sides down there as well. that and just that and then awkwardly there is a bracket down here it's got two e12 bolts right on top and we just managed to Yeah, there's two right down at the bottom, so they're clear. There's two E12 um, bolts back there. You can just about get to them from the top if you use a sort of convoluted sort of uh, universal joint and that. Two of those, and that releases the bracket that holds the. Um, Linkages on. Then you can just use a little pick, pull back the clamp or the clip for the um, hydraulics. Just pulled it out and then clamped it off and just put a bit of rag over the end just to keep it clean. Taking the trolley jock out now, and just got one of these beams going across, just hanging on the um, engine mount there, just as a bit of um, extra security. You can adjust that up and down as, as needed. So, lift it up, taking the um, bottom ball joint bolts out there on an 18. Took the um, track rod um, off, that's also on an 18. Same both sides. And then that's allowed that to be pushed out. Just pop the um, drive shafts. 
same this side this one's a bit more awkward you can actually if you push it enough that way you can actually pull it out and it will drop down sort of thing so they're both out so as before axles and all are out or drive shafts set the mount off there you can just leave that one in place um, just take all the bolts out and then didn't even drop the subframe got uh, enough space you can just sort of lift it back and put it in but um, just managed to um, take the clutch off and genuine GM it's still on there but it's full of hairline cracks and also the edge is missing the edge is all breaking away here and the um, bearing's got a lot of play in it and feels knackered so compared to the new one there were six different options of clutch as well apparently for this vehicle so um, this does fit, I've just checked but um, yeah it has worn unevenly as well the line's really visible there and gone there gone there but no it's just starting to break up and it doesn't show it on camera but when you look at it it's literally like crazy paving it's all breaking up and falling to bits so yeah it is awkward to push it over like that but it does go and then there's just enough space to um get in undo the um hydraulic feed and then just some uh torques to release that so I'm not changing the flywheel, looks fine, and actually looks to be a solid mass flywheel, which they seem to think it was a dual mass when um, when I checked at the um, parts center, but it's a 2010, so it's one of the early ones. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that as is, there appears to be no play, but there is enough space to get in there. The bolts are um, six of them, 11 mil heads on those, weirdly. It's taking the old um, throwout bearing out. Three uh, Torx 30s, T30s, and 11 mil on the um, hydraulics there. One thing to note, there is a groove here. Just clean that up. And in the kit, because this one's come off, the O-ring has been stuck to the back there. There's the old one. But the new one, you get you get a new O-ring in the kit. Just don't miss that out. Now that's actually off. Not only does it feel completely gorgeous, but and drop of grease in that at all that's completely the feel it's like metal on metal one thing to do put the clutch in first with the um, alignment tool before putting the throw up bearing on because otherwise they foul and you can't do it this just caught me out the bleeder is there. Pull that rubber bong off and you can um, put your tube on like you normally bleed brakes. But what caught me out? This is actually split into two. There's a max of the brakes and there's also for the clutch. And what I did by mistake was draw fluid through with the pressure bleeder. It's on the floor and um, the clutch stopped working completely. But what you have to do is get a syringe. You fill the syringe with brake fluid, put it on there, take the cap off over there and force it in 
this way so have the valve open and pump it in and it comes out there because that is double skinned and there's only a tiny tiny reservoir for the um, clutch 